it is the last official work day of the week and today is day seven i mean seven days to go to the big day uh, talking about uh, flu fm uh, fifth year anniversary of course that will take place on the 25th of march 2022 that's on a friday that's next week friday thank you very much for joining us this morning on the platform it is the pinnacle of all discussions we deal with those critical issues for you we dissect them for your analysis of course uh, so that you can make a better decisions in the nearest future welcome to the platform still part of our morning show right here on flow fm uh, the morning spies my name is michael only and uh, this morning we're talking about workers the, the welfare of workers in abia state even as we look at uh, some issues uh, uh, in the abia state joint uh, public uh, service negotiating council and also uh, we talk about uh, the latest as far as uh, the joint uh, public service negotiating council is about and also uh, we look at uh, some issues what's the position of the uh, state council on salary payment then we have we understand that we have uh, a new leadership structure as far as uh, the joint public service uh, negotiating council is concerned we also talk about that even as we delve into issues that has to do with workers in abyss so welcome on board joining me this morning i have uh, comrades uh, of course uh, uh, from the joint Public Service Negotiating Council, Abia State, uh, Comrade Innocent Ekwenye, uh, the chairman. Uh, glad to have you join us. Good morning to you, Comrade. Good morning. Uh, thank you. And uh, uh, Comrade Gamalia Acho, uh, the secretary. Good morning to you. Thank you. Good morning. It's the first time we're having this uh, gentleman in the studio. It used to be uh, some other persons to represent uh, the uh, Negotiating Council in Abia State. So what happened? Is there Was there an election? Uh, chairman. Yeah, there's okay. election. Yeah, was an election. Yes, proper oh, okay. election. So we have new leadership structure. In yes. United can you can you take us into that? Sir? Yeah, there was election conducted on the twenty fourth November, mm. uh, twenty twenty one last year. Okay. Duly represented by the government that came and declared it open to the office of the head of service. Mm. Delegation came and declared the conference open. And uh, after the election, the executive we are seen here emerged. By the grace of God, I emerged as the chairman. The secretary seated here. Gamelian also emerged as the secretary and the other executives. Okay. Which you hear their names. Okay. So let, let's uh, uh, move on. W what exactly do you do as the Joint Public Service Negotiating Council? Because I understand there are several uh, labor unions in ABS State, from NLC to TUC, uh, several unions. And uh, many one will be asking, what are these unions doing? Now we are hearing, maybe for those that are not uh, workers in ABS State, you explain what Joint Public Service Negotiating Council is about. Well, Joint Council, Public Negotiating Council, is a council that is made up of eight industrial unions. Okay. Within the core civil service ministries, eight industrial unions. And this council is in charge of negotiation concerning issues affecting workers. The TUC, the NLC, they are brother sisters okay. of union well represented well represented uh, okay mm. so whenever you talk of proper negotiation it falls at the leadership of joint council mm. and that is one reason we are we are here to put the record threats two easy came in and when came in as colleagues Mm. to join up when we feel that their presence is needed okay so joint council is the proper council that negotiates with that negotiates with the government on those issues mm. that affects workers Okay. And the Joint Council is made up of eight industrial unions within the core ministers. Eight? Eight industrial unions. Okay. 
Interesting. So let, let's talk because in the past there were there have been issues. Yeah, you are aware of the numerous issues uh, workers are uh, 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 being challenged with right here in Abia State, and it's been passed. Although it has not been confirmed, it is not a fact. It's an opinion uh, that uh, they said uh, the governor, uh, the government rather, let me use the government has uh, a hand in uh, selecting or electing who. Are those in charge of unions in Abia State? The reason they are not so vocal in fighting for their welfare. That I don't know. Is 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 that a diff is it a different case in in joint negotiating council? Maybe I should bring in the secretary here. How was uh, the election? Was there any external influence in this set of uh, leaders emerging as those uh, in charge of uh, negotiating for the workers in Abia State? Like the comrade chairman has said. Mm. Uh, the Joint Council is made up of three councils. That's why it's called Joint Council. Council 1, you have Association of Senior Civil Servants. Mm. Council 2, you have Nigerian Civil Service Union and Nostro. Then Council 3, that is made up of five unions. You have Amalgamated Union of Public Corporation and Technical Recreational Employees, Nigerian Nurses and Midwives, Medical and Health, NUPRO, and then Union of Allied and Agric Employees. Uh, amongst them, there is no external influence in the sense that uh, within us, there are paid secretaries who are direct employees of unions. Okay. And apart from that, there are the other elected officers who serve as chairmen. Within this crop of people that is made up of 16 in number, there is no how external influence could come because the paid secretaries are answerable to their national secretaries mm. and they take orders from their general secretaries. So even if there's anything from outside, it's not going to be possible because the paid secretaries who are the administrative officers of these unions will not allow any external influence from the employers to come and infiltrate anything being mm. done by the unions. Are you also in charge of uh, the local government workers in Abia State? Is it only the state uh, workers? No, and they those, those they, are the employee of, of the government. The local government employees are under what we call NOGE, National okay. Union of Local Government Employees. They are not a part of the Joint Public Service Negotiating Council. Okay, so it's quite different. Yes, what, it's quite what about different. those in the private sector? Those in the private sector have their own individual unions that operate within their own sector, but in the civil service because. The Joint National Public Service Negotiating Council or the Joint State Public Service Negotiating Council actually started in 1945 during the colonial days. Mm. It was from that time it transcended to what we have in our present day country. Mm. All right. In case you just joined us, it is the platform, the pinnacle of all discussions right here on Flow 94.9 FM. We're talking about the workers. Of course, uh, this time around, it has to do with the civil service, as you heard from my guest in the studio. And uh, we're looking at uh, the Abia State uh, Joint Public Service Negotiating Council in charge of negotiating uh, welfareism, any issue, uh, any of the issues bordering on the welfareism of workers, be it salary, uh, be it emolument, uh, be it... Uh, um, uh, just uh, name it, leave allowances, you name it. Of course, uh, this Joint Public Service Negotiating Council uh, is the union in charge, uh, made it making up of uh, several unions, of course. And uh, there are new leaders in town, of course, uh, emanating from the meeting, and I think this is the first uh, public outing. So let's talk about the uh, position of the union on salary payment in Abia State. It has not been uh, a rosy one. Uh, talking about the experiences of workers in the state uh, from the opinions and uh, from uh, the Vox Pop that uh, we've uh, and the samples we've taken on the streets of Abia State. Although the government might be trying in some areas, uh, but there are some persons that have been owed. So what is the position of the Joint Public Service Negotiating Council as far as salary payment is concerned in Abia State? Uh, com com Comrade Innocent. Well, uh that is one of the issues the new leadership also is looking at. Okay. We know that, uh, you know, in any organization, when there is a new leadership, there are this idea of uh, inheriting liability and uh, asset. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Very good. So there are issues on ground we met as leaders. By the grace of God, we look into it and address it properly with the government. 
So there, there are issues on ground. Can you be very specific? Well, with you those have issues already there? mentioned about salaries here. Mm. I know that uh, there are people that their own uh, is about to be completed based on the system of payments. Mm. Yes. So those issues will also be addressed accordingly. Mm. All right. Uh, okay, fantastic. Well, but, but then, then the workers would like you to be very specific. That's the reason I'm asking you for the specifics. Uh, uh, those that have been owed and what have you done so far that you've been on board and uh, what are the steps that you intend taking? You see, we just came up recently. This is a new, a new leadership that mm. I've just emerged to dialogue with the government and to look into all this... Uh, issues we met on ground so what are the channels that you have very good the channel we have you will use it yes, dialoguing with the is to be the, uh, the, 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 the to follow the appropriate uh, channel to meet the people that are uh, concerned the people that are matters beginning from the office of the head of service who is the chairman of the joint council which we have been uh, you know moving all along since we mm. came in mm. then as well as getting to the appropriate quarters mm. where we will be able to sit down with the government and uh, address issues properly. Okay, L let me bring you in Comrade Gamalia here. Uh, Com Comrade Acho, uh, Gamalia Acho, uh, right in here. I'm sure since you've been on board, some workers must have might have been disturbing you and saying, see, I want you to tell the government this is what we're facing and this and that and this. They've not been very proactive in the payment of salaries. Some states, they, they even go as far as comparing Abia state with some states, saying some states, they pay them 23rd of the month, they pay them 24th, and some workers are being owed months. And it actually uh, not, uh, I may not be very specific with the number of months they are being owed now. So what have you heard so far from the time that you've taken uh, that position as the secretary? And what are your plans? Well, every jurisdiction has its own peculiarity. Mm. Uh, every employer has a certain number of workers he takes care of. Okay. I have had issue that uh, some certain segment of the workers have not been paid their salaries or their salaries does not come what they call as a twin due. But then we should not lose uh, sight of the fact that uh, the situation of things uh, in very pursuit with the economic condition of the country makes it that every government try to harmonize their resources. But then, on the other hand, those that have not been paid, we have made them to understand that there are proper channels of forwarding or tabling issues that affect them. And that proper channel is what we have taken because after the introductory letter, written by the national public service negotiating council mm. to the governor we have now written the head of service seeking audience with him so that we can sit down and see the possibility of alleviating some of these problems and narrowing it down so that the gap of uh, these ones are paid uh, a week or two weeks before these other ones are paid could be narrowed down or breached Mm. In, in the sense that nobody will feel that he is regarded as a second-class worker. So that process or procedure is what we are following. Uh, we should not lose sight of the fact that uh, workers could be restive. The okay. proliterate in every egalitarian society may feel that the action should be taken now. And if it is not so, it looks as if the leadership does not understand what they are passing through. But mm. The leadership understands, but the proper procedure has to be followed in order to see every uh, contending issue is resolved. Uh, which which is uh, reaching out to the Joint Negotiating Council, I believe. Yes. Okay. N let's look at uh, the payment of uh, the minimum wage. Uh, the president approved minimum wage some uh, months ago. Uh, what is what is the current state of uh, of implementation in Abia State? Has it been implemented in the states? Uh, the issue of minimum wage, a lot of workers and some other people have misconceptions. It's 30,000 error. Uh, uh, I'm that's the minimum wage. Right, so. The minimum wage act says 30,000 yes. error. That should be paid to the least mm. worker in any establishment. 
but the then for the, so the lowest level yes, of trade when you come trade. to the public service this is not salary review rather what we now pursued was consequential adjustment mm. so that the lowest worker does not earn higher than his or her superiors and the consequential adjustment the way it is done makes it to be that the senior person retains his or her seniority okay so but there was this misconception all over the place it's not peculiar to other state that public service workers felt that this is a salary review therefore if uh, the level one step one is paid thirty thousand, it means the man on level eight will be paid something in the neighborhood of eighty thousand. it is not so that's a wrong concept now the adjustment that was done uh the issue is that it ought to be across board so that each and every individual worker whether the management staff or these other people apart from level one step one will be able to understand that the adjustment does not disfavor him or her okay those who didn't understand this concept they are the people that make a noise. But, but, but can you comfortably, co Comrade Innocent Equenya and uh, Comrade Gamalia Acho, can you comfortably tell the workers of Abia State that, yes, Abia State government has complied with minimum wage payment for the workers? Now, in the issue of saying comfortably, mm. uh, yes, yes, yes. what we saw here was that at the end of the day, mm. government in her wisdom, are uh, adjusted with 10,000 naira, but we have not been able to find out the enabling instrument with which that 10,000 naira adjustment was done. Okay, and that's one. Number two, uh, they are done. Let's follow the channel and procedure to be able to know where there are defects so that it could be corrected. Hmm. It's not cast on a stone. It could always be corrected and adjusted so that both the employer and the employee will feel at ease that uh, justice and fair play has been done. All right. Uh, we want to say something about that, Comrade Dino Sento Oh, Okay. It is the platform, the pinnacle of all discussions right here on Flow 94.9 FM, the flow of God's own state, having this conversation with uh, uh, the new uh, leadership of uh, the Joint Public Service Negotiating Council, uh, Comrade Innocent Ekwenya, the chairman, and uh, Comrade Gamalia Acho, the secretary, uh, looking at uh, issues of uh, uh, the workers. We've talked about the election and also uh, we delve into the leave allowances also very soon. But anyways, we're going to draw the lines open early uh, today. You can join the conversation already and keep your comments coming on our facebook page we are facebook.com forward slash flow 949 fm facebook.com forward slash flow 949 fm we take a break now when we return the conversation continues stay tuned the platform the pinnacle of all discussions on flow 94.9 fm it is the flow of god's own state and uh, of course we're talking uh, about workers uh, the joint public service negotiating council there are uh, new leaders uh, heading that uh, negotiating council of course this is uh, some sort of introduction and also uh, to acquaint to the member members of the public uh, what they have on board even as uh, they're taking charge of that uh, um, uh, council uh, for uh, bordering on the welfare of uh, workers and uh, some other issues as far as uh, negotiating uh, for the workers uh, in Abia State is concerned of course those in the public the civil service I have been speaking with uh, Comrade Innocent Equine the chairman of the Joint uh, Public Service Negotiating Council of your state and uh, Comrade Kamalia Acho, the secretary. Uh, Comrade Innocent, let me bring you in. Uh, quickly do uh, an introduction. Uh, maybe let the members of the public uh, uh, know those uh, that are now in charge of uh, what, as far as uh, Joint Public Service Negotiating Council is concerned. Uh, in Abia State. The newly constituted uh, members of the executive yes. of Joint Council. Uh, my very self, Comrade I am Ekwenye, JP. Okay. The chairman, duly elected. Mm. Uh, comrade Reverend Ekere Wadi, vice chairman. Okay. Comrade Gamaliel Acho, mm. secretary. Comrade Omudinjo Adlin, treasurer. Comrade Maruguko. Mabel Obi, Assistant Secretary. 
Okay. This is the newly constituted, duly elected executive members of the new Joint Council leadership in Abia State. Okay. So recognized by the Abia State government. Also. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that, that's yes. fantastic. So just before I threw the lines open, we were talking about the welfareism of workers in the state and uh, you've uh, said what you have in, on board uh, to negotiate about the salary payment. We've talked about the minimum wage. Uh, the leave allowance is also, is also something that uh, they would like to have an idea of what you will do about it. Uh, uh, so much of backlogs uh, in that area. Maybe I should bring in Comrade Gamali Acho in here uh, before I throw the lines open this morning. Yes, every employer has a way of paying certain allowances okay. that goes with salaries and then the leave transport grant is one of them but in the case of what we have on hand in Abia state the last uh, leave transport grant paid was that of the year 2017 Mm. But from 2018, there has been climb up from... It's leave transport ground. Yes. Yeah, grant, all yes, allowance. leave transport grant. Okay. And that's always paid when a worker is to go on leave. Okay. It's calculated. It has to be 10% of his or her basic salary that mm. is calculated and paid to him or her to enable the individual to uh, transport himself or herself or go for a leave and return to the workplace. Uh, that has not been paid from 2018 up till date. The matter is that uh, there have been problems or challenges associated with it. Mm. But we are looking forward to the point that we will be able to sit down with uh, the employer's representatives so that we will be able to discuss how this backlog could be settled or the issues associated with it. Why it seems to be a lingering or reoccurring decimal, we will hear from their own side. Then we will all come to a common ground where these issues will be sorted out so that it doesn't become another challenge that has to be lingering on mm. and then making workers to be agitated. Mm. All right. The lines are open. Join us and let's have this conversation with. Uh the new leadership of the Abia State uh, Joint Public Service Negotiating Council. You can drop your comments on our Facebook already. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash flow 949 FM. The lines are 0808-182-6949 or 0811-605-2949. Also drop messages on 0906-510-8289. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen of the Labour and the City. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, all right. I remember Mr. Francis from the Swaku for me, I don't want to I'm, I'm very grateful on the town, on the, on the way those men in the studio have analyzed about Labour in Adia State and telling us about the fairness and workers in Adia. But I, as I'm not looking, I'm not from Abia, but my analysis in Abuja here. I got to understand that Abia is one of the highest paid in the southeast. No, if not, if not the highest, I think it is the highest with the with the with the statistical analysis from the Minister of um, Statistics. Abia is the highest from the southeast that pays their workers as a result of the number of workers. So my take is this: let every worker in Abia state sacrifice a little by supporting the government of Adia State, so as to be paid and what they're supposed to have paid, instead of going on strike. I'm, I'm happy that Abia is doing their best. So no workers sacrifice a little to, to back All up right. with the federal government, uh, the state government and uh, help. All so right. Th 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 thank you for your take this morning. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. Good morning to your guests in the house. Good morning. Who say my name is the name I'm calling from Omar. All right. Um, I want to thank those men for coming out to uh, talk about this issue of salary payment and, and leave allowance and other things that I said went for the civil servant in Abia State. Like I always say that if one is not informed, probably he or she may be deformed. But uh, I know that on this lies everywhere that we have a crime. In as much as I'm, I'm condemning those that are being owed by the government of Abia State. There are those that are being paid up to date, except uh, they, are, they are, like she said, except they are leave allowances. But the ones that are generating funds, that is where I'm getting angry. 
they the ones that are meant to pay like a uh, uh, baby the ones that are supposed to get subvention from the state government that are not doing enough to make sure that they pay this part there at least you guys should look into it then secondly the issue of pensioners you know most times it breaks me so much seeing these old men and women crying or shouting tears even the teachers let's you people negotiate with the government of others. I know that it's not easy anywhere. Maybe if you go to the systems of Nigeria, almost actually every state is doing But there are means if you can hold this one and uh, we can pay up today to, the, to these people, at least you need to look into that business and teachers and salaries. Right. And finally, please, finally, yes, quickly. the issue of our problem most times are from those people that are and they are the active service today. They are the ones that are mutilating and manipulating what is the problem that they are having in that segment of gratuities and pensions. All Please, right. you push look into it. Thank you. Day. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Keep those comments coming. Uh, Chino Duo Kafo on our Facebook page says, Good morning, Mike, and to your guest in the studio. Unfortunately, unions that are supposed to speak for workers are now fused to the government. Workers' salaries are statutory and need to be paid as at when due. Please, the public servants are not finding it funny. Please, the new officers should ensure that Abia workers receive all their deserved packages. Oka for Chinedu from Umar here. Hello, good morning to you. Hello, good morning, Mike. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning, my best dear. Good morning, my brother. This is the Bangladesh of Momo Tim Natural in Nimo still. All right. Now, pension goes to the men there. He said that the new allowance of uh, workers have been held since 2018. I, I, I want to ask him is it the money is not coming, the money is not coming from the government or somebody is sitting on that type of money? And if they find out that somebody is sitting on the uh, workers' new allowance, I think that's what it should be punished. Because the money has been coming, they have been paying since 2018, and they have not paid them a lot of education. Like you he said it should be the case. If that money is coming, it's like somebody is sitting on top of it. That person is supposed to go to jail because he's playing with the people's real life. That's my own thing. All right, thank you very much. The uh, leadership of this uh, union will definitely respond to some of these comments. Hello, good morning to you. Welcome to the platform on Flow FM. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Oni. Good morning. My name is Ugona Eric. You're welcome, Mr. Global. Eric. Good morning to you. Thank you. I hope you will attend our fifth anniversary next year, uh, next week rather, and celebration. Uh, well, I hope I'll be free. I will. I will. I All will. Right, thank <laughs> you for joining this morning. Yeah, I think it will be an opportunity to meet most of you guys one on one face. <laughs> All right, um, my little takey. We may be we may be a little different from what uh, because when people talk about uh, welfare of workers, it's only salary, salary, salary. Look, a lot of things makes a worker productive. Understand? It's about the environment where you work. It's about tools, equipment. You understand? It's about training. It's about productivity. It's about labor allowance, promotion. You understand? It's about competition. You understand? Courses and so many things. We don't hear people talk about these things. All we hear is salary, salary. How do they work out this money with which they are being paid? It's about right sizing. You understand? It's about putting people in a conducive office environment and all that kind of a thing. So when you see people come out, they say, we will negotiate, we want to negotiate, negotiate. With I mean, and they say they are just starting. I mean, as you are starting, you, are, you, are, you, you start immediately. You don't say you just came in. You say last year, in November, you, and you are just starting. You, you can do something with one week, with one month. The governor of Namka started yesterday, and he's working. Please let us develop the attitude that you think the ground running. Be prepared for the job you have neglected to. And again, you don't allow people to work and work and you begin to ask for salaries in areas, in areas, in areas. I mean, it doesn't speak all of us, honestly, as a nation, as a state, and as a government. We must be able to look at what makes somebody... You can't be happy now that you work for one month, two months, I understand. Yeah, I don't know how people even manage to transport themselves to and from work, eat lunch, and do other things, face cookies, and so many other things. So let's ensure that as you are coming to take over position of authority or leadership, you are very prepared for that position. That All right, the ground run Mr. Harry. Negotiate for whoever needs to be there as soon as possible so that we can move ahead as a nation. All right, and I thank, think. thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Hello, good morning to you. Welcome to the platform on Flow FM. <coughs> good morning this morning, Michael. Good morning to you this morning. Yes, my name is Jimmy. My brother is still there. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Uh, yes, I like uh, I monitor everything you are saying in the studio. It's very, very good and very, very interested about the workers supposed to pay the salary. Yes, eh? For the air pressure, you know, these people are suffering so much. 
I am begging the government, let me put five instead of salary to pay them. It's a human being. Let them, let them enjoy this life. That, that is my opinion. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Hello, good morning to you. Keep those comments coming. Uh, on the SMS line, this one says, Since every worker will one day retire, what can Joint Negotiating Council do to get the government pay pension? We have a lot of comments coming from in that area of uh, pensioners. Uh, that's coming from Ben. Uh, Olum John on the Facebook page says, We just need fair leadership and not arrogant ones that do not have the human sympathy. Uh, Ozo Francis Omaga from Enugu, thank you for joining. Good morning, parliamentarians. Good morning, Flu FM crew. I love your co program. Keep the ball rolling. Thank you, Emmanuel Agoa. Uh, we see your comment. Thank you. And Mr. Brown Victor. Thank you, Engineer Jamil Abubakar Tola. Uh, thank you for joining us. Hello, good morning to you. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, my name. I am calling from uh, Omar. You're welcome. What's my your name, please? Thank you. My name is uh, Mr. CJ. All right, Mr. So CJ. I, thank you. I just want to add my own uh, 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 for it by saying that the problem we have in our as a government is that uh, they don't have the questions at heart. You cannot tell me that Anambra are doing well. Okay, let's go, let's go to a green stage. The Boise State does not have oil. Have oil. The, Boise, the Boise State does not have international market. I don't see anything that makes the Boise State to have up to eight flyovers. I don't see anything that makes the Boise State to pay their workers to have the best infrastructure in in, in the Southeast. The issue of Anambra State is that uh, the government we have does not have vision for the masses. Their only vision is to they say, uh, the government has uh, an opportunity to make money, to make with money. And that is why, that is why we keep on complaining. And uh, I'm begging for you, the time has come for us to uh, take our, our, our leadership in our hands. There's no way to uh, talk about God for that reason in that There's no way to put somebody that does not does have the vision. For us to vote in a man who has vision, who has focus, who uh, his interest is to develop Akia right. and save salary. So I am uh, Akia. Let us show issue issue of a one one thousand naira rise. All right, thank, 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 thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you. Although it, it's about workers this morning, I'm not sure that is relating to what we're talking about this morning. But then, thank you for your contribution. Uh, Kashi Uchegu on the f uh, Facebook page says, Honorable Sai, I pray you bring a positive change to Abia workers in Dilemma. But I am enthusiastic that the case of Inanambra will replicate in Abia, representing Umwasua. Umwa it's a quarter. Thanks. All right. Let me allow uh, the comrades in the studio to respond to the comments. Of course, uh, the call, the lines are still buzzing, but um, let me. We, I don't know if we will have time to take more calls, but you can respond to some of those uh, comments. You heard uh, what the workers are saying. It's important we get the feel of the people, the pulse of the people, what they think about unions in Abia said, And I'm happy you heard that, especially the issue of pensioners. Is that also on your table? Are they part of the joint negotiating council? Uh, let's get the facts clear. Okay. First and foremost, union is not established ab initio to talk about salaries only. Okay. All talks about workers' welfare. Okay. The welfare of the worker when he enters the service, while in service, while he or she exists the service. Mm. Now, if we are looking at that, we will understand it's not just purely salaries alone. Uh, the pensioners are inclusive and the pensioners what concerns maybe, maybe, them maybe that's where the true pains the most that's why you get a lot of a lot of uh, reactions <laughs> towards the salary payment in the state but, but go on there yes. uh, the issue of pensions is a first line charge mm. based on the provisions of the ground norm which is uh, the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria 1999 as amended mm. but we have had problems with pension administration in Nigeria. That was why the Obasanjo administration introduced what he called contributory pension. Mm. Incidentally, the management of that issue has some teaching problems. That's why some certain segments of the public service are pulling out while others are going in. 
But with particular case to that of Abia, I think uh, for one to be able to talk uh, authoritatively and accurately, the facts must have to be made available. We know that people who claim that pensions are not paid, yes. From what came to me as a person and as one of the union leaders, I came to understand that the Abia state government say they have to be paying in that one month or two, as the case may be. But there are claims equally on ground from the beneficiaries who say that the payments are not complete. Now, for one I to be able... A fact. We have a fact here also in Flo FM. Uh, They've been paid half for a couple of months now. Well, uh, they may have been paid half mm. based on that. But for me to be able to make uh, a proper comment on that, mm. I had to get the whole, gather the whole facts. But the issue is that generally in Nigeria, and particular reference to Abia State, there is problem with pension fund administration. And that's why uh, these senior citizens are not getting their due fare mm. as regards to uh, what they are supposed to receive, having rendered service to the nation and the state. But with this leadership on ground, as we are not keeping our hands folded, and we are going here and they are sourcing for facts, it will not be long we will be able to make categorical statements on each and every issue, more especially concerning the pensions and the pensioners than the teachers. Like somebody said, the issue of the leave grant, it has to be investigated. Yes, we are doing our investigation, but do equally note and know that there has to be budget provisions concerning every item. If there are budget provisions, we'll be able to know when funds are released mm. and how those funds are released and to which office those funds were channeled before we can now say uh, this is what has happened with the issue of lib grant. And but the, the, the it, issue of setting the ground running immediately, maybe the next day since uh, 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 after the election, uh, sometimes last year, someone also mentioned that. I think Eric uh, said, why didn't you start working the next day? Uh, why are you waiting till months later to start working? Yes, uh, uh, okay. the, the, the labor movement. Yes, you, you will respond. The to labor that. movement is one thing, mm. but the membership is another thing. When members are agitated, they feel that the leadership that comes forth should just heat up the polity. Uh, the administration of unions uh, is more of these days social dialogue and strong persuasion based on facts and figures at the fingertips of the leadership. So if those facts and figures are not available, the leadership cannot jump in I begin to say, because I know most of the members feel, uh, maybe you call us out on strike. Uh, let's do picketing. No. You have to gather your facts so that if you have uh, uh, discussed with the other party and you are coming to a point of disagreement, mm. it becomes absolutely necessary to now tell the members, let's take the last option. Okay. Uh, comrade uh, uh, Ekwenye. Uh, please respond to that uh, yeah. just before we wrap up. Uh, you see, point. everything has procedure. Mm. In every organization, there is procedure of channeling issues and addressing matters. So it's not something one will just get up overnight because the new leadership will have emerged, will just rush out. Like the Secretary has said, we came on board actually 24th November last year. So months now, we've been on ground doing our investigation making consultations, putting our letters here and there. Government is aware, we have written series of letters, addressing some of these issues and, and on letters and rest of them. So we are coming up as well. We are will have a round table dialogue with the power that be. And we are saying that by the grace of God, these matters will be properly addressed. All right. And uh, I also want to say that the issue we are facing here, like I earlier said, uh, didn't start today. This is a long, uh, uh, long time issues that have been on ground mm. before our arrival. So now we're on board. It is what we use dialogue to address the matter properly with the power that be. 
so that those that are concerned, both in the salary payment and the pension and the rest of them, if there are other matters we cannot address here, uh, we will be able to address them properly. Like the Secretary has said, it's not something uh, we are going to fight or quarrel, no. It is an issue that we we'll work with facts and figures All right. so that we understand ourselves properly. All right, I want to really appreciate you for joining us this morning on the platform on Flu FM and also uh, the leadership. I mean, they are all in the studio, even though uh, we cannot accommodate uh, everyone in the studio. But uh, we want to thank you for coming around this morning on the platform on Flu FM. And uh, well, of course, we will definitely keep uh, a tab on you and uh, uh, get in touch with you as far as uh, work, uh, workers' uh, welfare is concerned in Abia State and uh, as you uh, get the ground running. Thank you very much, Comrade Innocent Equenye, the chairman of the Joint uh, Public Service Negotiating Council, Abia State, for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. And uh, Comrade uh, Gamalia Acho. Uh, the secretary thank you for joining us this morning it's a pleasure i want to really appreciate you for joining this morning don't forget the countdown continues it says uh, seven days to go flow fm uh, fifth anniversary celebration next week uh 11 a.m at uh, international conference center in umashia the capital of abia state thank you for joining us this morning on the platform and uh, many thanks to the guys behind the visuals on our facebook page uh, stanley and chinedu and the producer Samson Eze and uh, Ezine Okoro. Do enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Michael Oni. Oh,